Welcome to Portuguese with Songs, where I teach you Brazilian Portuguese in a much funnier and interesting way, with songs. I'm Laura, and today I'm going to teach you how to start a conversation using the song Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, amor. And not only that, but you learn many useful words with this song too. But you might be asking yourself, why learning with music? Isn't that more difficult? Actually, learning with music is a very powerful tool. First, because it can be more enjoyable and less intimidating than traditional methods. And the songs can stick in your mind, helping you remember the vocabulary and pronunciation more easily. Second, because it combines rhythm, melody, and lyrics, making it easier to remember new words and phrases, and it helps you get used to the natural flow of the language, improving your listening comprehension skills and your pronunciation. And finally, songs often reflect the culture and emotions of a country, so you can get used to the Brazilian way of life. And why did I choose this song? The phrases and vocabulary you pick up from this song can be used in everyday conversations with Portuguese speakers. Also, this song has an easy grammar structure, so if you're just a beginner, you can still follow. And understanding this song will give you a glimpse into Brazilian culture, which can be useful if you plan to travel or interact with Brazilians. So come with me, let's get started. Okay. So, before anything, the song is called Bom Dia, Boa Tarde, Boa Noite, Amor. Do you know any of these words already? Don't worry, if you don't, we're gonna learn. But first, I'm gonna show you the song. I want you to try to listen to it and see if you can recognize any words, okay? Without the lyrics first. Boa tarde, boa noite, amor Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, amor Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, amor Bom dia, amor Eu gosto tanto de você Boa tarde, amor Eu gosto tanto de você Boa noite, amor Eu gosto tanto de você Dorme, dorme, meu amor Dorme, dorme, meu amor Mas por favor, diga que vai sonhar comigo Que eu também vou sonhar com você Mas por favor, diga que vai sonhar comigo Que eu também vou sonhar com você it's okay so far. So now I want you to give yourself a grade. How much of the song could you understand? I want you to be true to yourself. So if you didn't understand anything, it's okay, we're gonna learn. But maybe you could catch some words, some phrases. So give yourself a grade from zero to 10. How much did you understand? Now let's look again at the song, but with lyrics. Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, amor Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, amor Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, amor Bom dia, amor Eu gosto tanto de você Boa tarde, amor Eu gosto tanto de você Boa noite, amor Eu gosto tanto de você Dorme, dorme, meu amor Dorme, dorme, meu amor Mas por favor, diga que vai sonhar comigo Que eu também vou sonhar com você Mas por favor, diga que vai sonhar comigo Que eu também vou sonhar com você 
So tell me now, did it get better with the lyrics or it's still the same? Like, now I want you to give yourself a grade again. How much did you understand after the lyrics? Okay, tell me later here in the comments. Okay, now we're gonna go sentence by sentence and I'm gonna teach you the vocabulary, the grammar, everything. Okay, so now let's check the lyrics going sentence by sentence. Starting with the title, with the name of the song. So, what does it mean? Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, amor. What does it mean? Do you have any idea? So, I'm going to show you here in the vocabulary. Bom dia means good morning. Can you see here? Bom dia, good morning. Boa tarde, good afternoon. Boa noite. Good night and good evening, the same. So, pay attention to the pronunciation first. Bom dia. Bom. So, we say it like this. Bom. Okay? It's not bom. Bom. So, that's the problem when you try to read something and you follow the exact sound of the, of the letter. So, instead of saying bom, it's bom. Bom. Okay? Imagine like you're saying it like this. Bom. Bom dia. Boa tarde. It also sounds more like boa than just boa. Boa tarde. Boa noite. Noite. Okay? Here, I can teach you the first important sound you should know in Portuguese. So... Uh, this letter here is the letter A. We call it A, okay? But sometimes it doesn't sound like A. It depends. So, if it's at the beginning of a word, it sounds like A. For example, the word eu. Eu. That means I, okay? Eu. Sounds like A. Eu. But if it's in the middle of a word, it can sound like E. So, like we say here, boa tarde. Boa tarde. You don't say boa tarde. Boa tarde. And that will be very formal. So, boa tarde. Boa tarde. Okay? Uh, boa noite. Boa noite. Não é boa noite. It's not boa noite. Boa noite. Okay? So sometimes it can sound like E if it's in at the end or maybe between two, two letters. We're going to see more examples later. So that's okay. Repeat after me. Bom dia. Boa tarde. Boa noite. Okay. Okay. So I'm moving on here with the lyrics. Um, it starts with bom dia, amor. Bom dia, amor. Amor is love. I think that in English, sometimes people call each other like baby, something like that. In Portuguese, it's common that couples call themselves amor. Okay? So, amor means love. Uh, but love the noun. Okay? Uh, to love would be amar. To love Amar. Okay, with this word, I can already teach you the second important sound in Portuguese, that is the sound of the letter R. So, we call this letter R. Okay, R. R. And this letter has different sounds. So, the first one is the one you see here, it is in this word. So, amor, amor. Depending on the region in Brazil, you go to, you can hear it differently. So, in my region, we would say amor. It sounds more like the R in English, so amor. In other regions, for example, if you go to Rio de Janeiro, you might hear amor, and that's how he says in the song, amor. Okay? It's more like So, practice this sound because it's important. Practice with the name of the letter, ehe, ehe. It's like the, the, the sound of the letter 
like the sound of the letter H in English. Okay, it's the same sound. So it has this sound when you see the double R, double R in the meaning in the middle of the word, or when it's R at the beginning of a word. For example, hatu, hatu. This means rat or mouse. Okay. If it's in the middle of the word, for example, my name. In the middle of my name, you have an R. It's between two vowels, so Laura, Laura. Practice this sound too, because it's important. R, R. I know that sometimes it's difficult, especially if you have like a tongue that is tied up, but uh, try practicing this. R, R, okay? And with that, you'll be able to say a lot of words like my name, Laura. Okay? So, so far we have bom dia amor, that means good morning love, ok? Eu gosto tanto de você, eu gosto, eu gosto means I like, so you already know eu is I, so eu gosto, I like. Now we're gonna have to check a grammar rule in Portuguese that is different from English, uh, when you say Eu gosto, you always have to say de, the preposition de, ok? I, I leave it here for you to see, so, eu gosto de, always, always, you have to use this, ok? This preposition, that's different from English, in English you don't have to use. So, here he says it, like, eu gosto de você, ok? I like you, I like of you. Um, you always have to use this. And this word here in the middle, tanto, is to emphasize how much. So I like you so much, okay? Tanto is to say a lot, so much. So now I want you to practice this. Tell me something you like a lot. Leave here in the comments. Eu gosto tanto de... What? Eu gosto tanto de comer, to eat. Eu gosto tanto de futebol, uh, football or soccer. Eu gosto tanto de português. Ok? Tell me here in the comments, what do you like so much? Do que você gosta tanto? Ok. So, you already know você means you. Você. Okay. Okay. And then he repeats. Ah, but now boa tarde, amor. Boa tarde, amor. Good afternoon, love. Eu gosto tanto de você. Boa noite, amor. Good night or good evening. Doesn't there is no difference in Portuguese? So boa noite, amor. Eu gosto tanto de você. It repeats. Now, dorme, dorme, meu amor. Here you can see that difference in the pronunciation, I told you, with the R letter. So, uh, in the song, you're gonna hear more like dorme, 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 meu amor. Uh, in my region, we would say dorme. So, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can say it both ways. And dorme means sleep. Sleep, sleep. My love. Dormir is to sleep. So the verb dormir is to sleep. Okay? Um, in Portuguese, you're going to notice that different from English. In English, when you want to say the verbs in the infinitive form, you use to. In Portuguese, the verb is going to end in R, in R. Okay? So dormir is to sleep. Dormi is a conjugation of the verb dormir. Dormi. I'm telling you to sleep, so I'm telling you. Dormi. Okay? Dormi. Sleep. Like I'm telling you. Dormi, dormi, meu amor. Meu is my or mine. Okay? And uh, you should know that. Some words in Portuguese are feminine, some words are masculine. I'm telling you already, but you don't have to 
learn everything now, but amor is masculine. It's like o amor, masculine, okay? So that's why we use meu. So we use meu for masculine. And for feminine, for feminine, we use another word, minha, minha, okay? Minha. For example, garota. Garota means girl. It's a feminine word. So, a garota. So, you're not going to use meu garota. No, it's going to be minha garota. Minha garota. Practice this sound. This is also a different sound in Portuguese. So, when you see these two letters together, so when you see these two letters here together, the sound is like this. Nya, nya. Okay? Mi, nya. Practice this sound. Repeat this word. Minha. Minha. Okay? Mas. Por favor, mas, por favor. Uh, here we have important words you should know in Portuguese. So, mas is but, like, but please, but please. So, but is mas. Por favor is please. So, if you are in Brazil and you need to ask a favor, you can start by saying, por favor, por favor. Can you repeat with me? Por favor, por favor. Also, it has the R sound, so we can hear like por favor, por favor, or, or por favor, okay? Mas, por favor, diga que vai sonhar comigo. Calm down. Diga, diga, diga is say. Well, but like I told you, uh, here you're kind of giving an order. You're asking the person to do something. So, diga, say. Uh, the verb would be dizer, to say. Okay? So, diga que. Here we have another important sound in Portuguese. This one, que. So, in English, you would say something like this. For example, question, question. Okay, question. In Portuguese, we don't say it like that. We say like, que, que. So, when you have uh, the word question in Portuguese would be questão, for example. Questão, okay? So, you don't say que, you say que, questão. And when you say just like this, remember the e. At the end of the word, sounds like E, so key, key, okay? Key, and that means that. In Portuguese, we use that a lot, so sometimes we can't just leave a sentence without that, without the connected speech. So, que means that. So, say that, okay? Que, or key, diga key. Vai sonhar comigo. Vai sonhar. Uh, like you use in English, will, this would be will dream, will dream, or gonna dream, okay? Let's say will dream. In Portuguese, we can also use two words to say the future. So, vai sonhar, will dream. The vai is something like will. Uh, the conjugation might change with the people, but we're going to learn that in the future. For now, just memorize that this means will dream. So, sonhar is to dream. Pay attention here to that sound I told you. These two letters together sound like n, n, sonhar, sonhar. Practice this one too, okay? To dream, sorry. So, Say that you will dream comigo, with me, comigo, 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 with me. Another important thing for you to know is that 
when the O, when the letter O is at the end of a word, sometimes it sounds like U, comigo. We don't always have to put the person because we have different conjugations for different people. So, vai sonhar already means you. Você vai. Okay? Vai sonhar comigo. Que eu também vou sonhar com você. Take it easy. Calm down. I'm gonna see part by part. So, que you already know means that. Eu means I. Eu. That I também is also or to. That's an important word for you to know. So, também is also or to. Pay attention to the pronunciation at the end of this word. So, it's not também. Também. No. Também. Também. Okay? Like if it was written like this. Okay? Também. Okay? Que eu também vou sonhar. So, você vai sonhar. See here the difference in the conjugation. Você vai. Eu vou. Com. Look, it's not com. Com. No. Com. Com. Você. Você. Okay, so we finished the first part of the song. I want you to listen to it again. I'm sure now you will understand much more. Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, amor. Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, amor. Bom dia, amor, eu gosto tanto de você Boa tarde, amor, eu gosto tanto de você Boa noite, amor, eu gosto tanto de você Dorme, dorme, meu amor, dorme, dorme, meu amor Mas por favor, diga que vai sonhar comigo Now, tell me here, what grade do you give yourself now, from 0 to 10? How much do you understand after the explanation? I hope your grade has already improved. Uh, let's go to the next part, okay? So, I'm going to ask you to listen to the next part. Again, give yourself a grade before we check and I explain the lyrics. <laughs> Tudo que eu falo, que eu canto, que eu penso, que eu amo, que eu olho, que eu quero, só vejo você. Pois tudo que eu falo, que eu canto, que eu penso, que eu amo, que eu olho, que eu quero, só vejo você. Mas... Don't get scared. I know this part is pretty fast. I'm sure you couldn't understand this, all these words, all these verbs. But I'm gonna go with you one by one. And after this class, you're gonna hear this song many times until you're able to understand these words. Okay? I'm gonna teach you now. So, it starts with Pois. Pois tudo que eu falo. Pois means like because. Uh, another word you're gonna see that is more frequent than pois is porque. Porque or porque, depending on the accent. It also means because. Okay, here he used pois. Okay, pois, pois. Pois, tudo, tudo means all or everything, tudo. This is important because uh, in Portuguese, the way we say like, how are you or how are you doing? We say, tudo bem, tudo bem, check, it's not tudo bem, it's tudo bem, tudo bem, that means like everything well, Everything all right? Okay. Tudo que eu falo. By now you already know que, that, eu, I, falo. What does falo mean? 
It means say or speak or talk. Uh, tudo que eu falo. Everything I say. Everything I speak. Okay? Everything I say. Tudo que eu falo. Pay attention to the O at the end. So it's not follow. Tudo que eu falo. No, tudo que eu falo. Falo. Ok? Que eu canto. That I canto. Yes, sim. So it comes from the verb cantar. Cantar. So canto is I sing. Ok? Tudo que eu canto. Que eu penso. Penso is to think. Pensar is to think. Penso is I think. Que eu penso. That I think. Que eu amo. Remember that I told you amor is love. Amar is to love. So amo means I love. Amo. Ok? Que eu olho. Mm, here we've got another one of those sounds I told you that are kind of difficult. So let me teach you that one first. This one. Ok? L H. Uh, right now that you're beginning to learn, try saying like this. Li. Li. Because when you say, que eu olho, olho, and that means everything I look, que eu olho, that I look, okay? So the verb olhar is to look, que eu, que eu quero, here's the key sound again, quero, quero, okay? That means... That I want, que eu quero, want, okay? This is very useful, so if you come to Brazil and you are at a restaurant, you want to say, what do you want? You can say, eu quero, eu quero, and then you say the food, okay? Um, eu quero, okay? And to finish, só vejo você, só vejo você. When you have this diacritic mark, like this thing at the top of the letter, this this one means you have to say that letter more openly. So it's not so, so, no, it's so, so, okay, open, so. And that means only, okay, so, only. Vejo. Uh, something that people always confuse between Portuguese and Spanish is the sound of this letter. We call this letter J. By the name of the letter, you can already see the sound. So, J. J. Okay? It's not Vejo. It's not Vejo. That's not the sound. It's Vejo. In Portuguese, it's different from Spanish. Okay? Vejo. And vejo means see. So, olho means look. It's closer in meaning to look. Vejo means see. Okay? Comes from the verb ver. Vejo. Você, you already know, it means you. Okay, so we finished the, the second part. I want you to check this at the song one more time. Come with me. Diz tudo que eu falo, que eu canto, que eu penso, que eu amo, que eu olho, que eu quero, só vejo você. Diz tudo que eu falo, que eu canto, que eu penso, que eu amo, que eu olho, que eu quero, só vejo você. Mas por favor. I know it's fast. Don't worry about that right now. Maybe you can even change the speed of the video. Uh, it's it's fast even for Portuguese speakers, this part. I just want to use it to teach you the pronunciation and these different words, but don't worry too much about the, the speed right now. It's, it's really fast. And with that, I can teach you some grammar. But like I told you, don't worry about it. 
it's not going to be too difficult. If you're just a beginner, you have nothing to worry. It's simple applied grammar, things you can actually use. I put some verbs in the present. Verbus no presente. Verbus no presente. Um, starting with eu falo. I already told you that means I speak or I say. If you want to say eu falo português, I speak Portuguese. Eu falo português. Falo comes from the verb falar. That would be to say, to speak, to talk. Okay? So, the infinitive form of the verb is falar. The conjugation for eu is falo. The conjugation for você is fala. Today, I'm going to focus with you only in the conjugation of eu. Okay? So, you should know there are other conjugations for other people. Eu, você, nós, we. Okay? But today, we're going to focus on the conjugation for eu. So, eu falo. Eu canto. Canto means sing. Comes from the verb cantar. To sing. Eu canto. Eu penso. Penso comes from the verb pensar. To think. Eu amo. Comes from the verb amar. Okay? So, amor, noun. Amar, verb. Amar. Eu olho. Comes from the verb olhar. To look. Eu quero. Comes from the verb querer. Eu vejo. Comes from the verb ver. This is the one that has the, the most different conjugation. But vejo. Eu vejo. Ok. What do you see in common between all of these verbs? I'm gonna tell you. You see the letter O. So, for pretty much all of the verbs, almost all of the verbs, when you want to conjugate them for eu, the verb ends with O. Okay? Eu falo, eu canto, eu penso. So, memorize this rule. This is the only grammar rule I want you to memorize today, okay? For the present, first person. Presente, primeira pessoa. First person. Eu. The verb ends in o. Okay, so now we finish the first part of this lesson. Don't leave this video just yet. Now comes the best part, that is... How to start a conversation in Portuguese. I'm going to give you some valuable tips. So, I created this flow chart. Esse fluxograma. Flow chart. Fluxograma. To help you understand how can you start a conversation in Portuguese. Okay, so down here we have those expressions we learned with the song. Bom dia. Boa tarde. Boa noite. You can start by saying that. Or you can start more simply, like saying hi. Oi. Oi. Repeat after me. Oi. Olá. Hello. Okay. Olá means hello. Or this is very informal. I don't know if they say it everywhere in Brazil. I don't think so. But you can hear maybe like oye. Oye, oye, okay? So, choose one of these. I want you to practice starting a conversation. So, you can choose one of these options. Moving on, now you want to ask, how are you? Okay, how are you doing? What's up? So, you can choose one of these options. The most common one is, tudo bem? Tudo bem? So, for example, oi, tudo bem? Oi, tudo bem? Olá, tudo bem? Bom dia, tudo bem? So, tudo bem means 
everything all right? Everything well? Tudo bem? Uh, you can also hear like tudo bom? So bem, bom. Bem. Uh, como vai is more like uh, how are you? But you also have como você está. That's literally how are you. Como você está. You're going to see that in Portuguese sometimes we don't pronounce this is. We would just say como você tá? Just this last part. Como você tá? Or como vai? Como vai? How's it going? Como vai? Uh, but just so you know, tudo bem is more informal. These two are more formal. Como vai? Como você tá? E aí? Look at here. It's not e, aí. É e, aí. E aí? That means like, uh, what's up? E aí? And they can maybe mix these two. So, e aí, tudo bem? You can also hear some slangs, for example, E aí, beleza? Beleza? So that's a slang, okay? E aí? So you can hear something like this, tranquilo? Tranquilo? Okay? Um, in the future, I can teach you more slang. Tell me here in the comments if you're interested in that content. But for today, I think these are enough. Okay, so you already can choose one of these options. Now, one of these options. Moving on. The answer. So, if someone asks you, E aí, tudo bem? How can you answer? You can say, you can answer the same way. Tudo bem. Just change the intonation. So, for a question, tudo bem? For, for answer, you can say, tudo bem. Tudo bem. E você? E você? E você? And you? You can also say, tudo bem. E você? Or just, bem. E você? Okay? O oh, comes from, estou. Estou bem. So, we say it shorter. O, oh, tudo bem. Uh, something Brazilians love to say is, graças a Deus. Like, thank God. So, tudo bem. Graças a Deus. This is a letter you don't have in English. We call it C, cedilha. So, it's a C that sounds like S. That's all you should know. It sounds like S. So, graças. It's not like Spanish. You can say gracias. Gracias. No, it's graças. Graças a Deus. Uh, my students usually struggle with this word, Deus. So, it's not Deus, like Spanish. It's Deus. Open your mouth and then close it. Deus. Deus. Practice. You can also hear the person just say, Bem, obrigado. Obrigado means thank you. Obrigado. So, if you are a man, you're going to say, Obrigado. If you are a woman, you're going to say obrigada. Okay? Practice with me. Obrigado. Obrigada. So, after that, what are some other useful questions you should know how to ask in Portuguese? So, if you want to know the person's name, you can say, Qual seu nome? Qual o seu nome? Practice here. Qual, qual, o seu nome, nome. What is your name? Okay. Uh, another way you might hear it is like, como, como você chama, como você chama. Pay attention to this sound. It sounds like shh, shh, okay? So, it's not chama. It's not that. Chama, okay? Uh, like, what are you called? How are you called? Como você chama? This is very common in Portuguese, okay? And how can you answer that? So, if someone asks you, qual seu nome? You're going to say, 
Meu nome é My name is Meu nome é Laura And here you're gonna complete with your name So practice Meu nome é Tell me your name here in the comments. Or if someone asks you, como você chama? You can just say your name, Laura. Okay? Uh, now you want to know the person's name. So you can say, e o seu? E o seu? E o seu? E o seu? And yours. Seu meaning yours. And yours. E o seu? Or if the person asks you, como você chama? You can ask, e você? E você? And you? Okay? Okay, and finally, how do you say, like, nice to meet you? You say, muito prazer. So, prazer means pleasure. Prazer. My students also struggle with this pronunciation, so it's not prazer, prazer. No, it's not like that. It's prazer. Close your mouth. Prazer. Okay? Muito prazer. Muito means uh, much or a lot. Okay? Or you can say prazer em te conhecer. Conhecer means meet. So, this would be literally pleasure in meeting you. Pleasure to meet you. So, prazer em te conhecer. Practice the sound. Conhecer. Okay? Great. So, we finished the flowchart. That's it. So, looking at this, you already have... A bunch of choices to make on how to start a conversation. You can choose one of these options. And I want you to tell me here in the comments, how would you start a conversation? Pick one of these options. Tell me your name, everything. I'm going to read all of the comments. So that was it for this song, guys. I hope you've learned a lot. And it's still not over. I have two bonus for you. So first, I will make available the PDF for this lesson, okay? You can find it here in the description below. Also, I've prepared some exercises to help this stick in your mind. Don't forget to do them also in the description below. And if you have any questions or suggestions, tell me in the comments, okay? Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.